Hey guys, welcome in today's video. We are going to solve Codesep Starter 34 problem, and this is the first problem, which is expiring bread. The statement is saying that Eco Club bread she has n loaf of breads, all of which expire after exactly m days. She can eat up to k loaves of bread in a day. Can she eat all the loaves of bread before the expiry? We have to print yes or no. If she can eat all the bread before expiry, we can print yes otherwise we will print no and the input format is first line contains the test case which is a single integer second line contains three integers which are n m and k and output format is yes and no so n is the total number of bread and n is the total number of bread m is the number of bread which she can eat in one day and what is k yeah m is number of days remaining and k is loaf of bread that she can eat in one day so we will multiply k by m and check that if it is greater than m then she cannot finish the bread before expiry otherwise she can finish the bread before expiry so let's see the code Yeah, this is the code where I am inputting TT for test case N, M and K three integers TT inputting test case while this loop runs number of test cases I am inputting N, M and K three integers and checking that if N is smaller than or equals to M into case product then I will print yes otherwise I will print no and let's see the second one which is is the score consistent the statement is saying that Saif is watching a football match. The current score is A, B. A is for a score of team 1 and B is a score of team second team. And Saif wonders if it is possible to score become C and D. That is That means the a score of team 1 becomes C and a score of team 2 becomes D. We have to print possible or impossible. And this is the input format T for test case and second line contains two integer A and B a score of team 1 and team 2 and the next line contains the two integers C and D a score of team 1 and team 2 we have to print possible and impossible depending on the situation and here are the constraints which means that T can vary between 1 and 1000 and ABC can vary between 1 to 10, 0 to 10 so here a is 1 and b is 5 then it can it is possible that team 1 can score 2 goals and team 2 can score 0 goals in next matches and it is not possible here let's see this it is not possible to decrease the goal because team 1 can score 1 goal 2 goal 3 goal and maybe 0 goal but it cannot score minus 1 goals so the second test case is impossible and the third case is, case is also possible that no teams can score a goal that means the match is tie so let's see the code which is yeah I am inputting 4 integers and here test cases and checking that if C minus A if a score of team 1 after minus before is greater than or equals to 0 and a score of after team 2 and before team 2 is greater than or equals to 0 then I will print possible otherwise I will print impossible let's see the next one next question is whose title is positive products and this is a very small statement which is given but you have to apply some a special logic if you apply general brute force approach you will definitely get TLE error yeah let's see the you have given an array A of length n. Find the number of pair of indices i and j such that the two conditions will satisfy. i and j can lie between 1 to n and j is always greater than i. And the second case is product of a i and a j must be strictly greater than 0. And here is the input format which is t for test case, n for 
size of array a single integer n and next following line contains n integers and this is the output format we have to output the number of pairs which satisfies the both two conditions which are listed here so he, this is the constraint which is t varies between 1 to 10 to the power 3 n varies between 2 to 10 to the power 5 which is bit larger and ai vary between minus 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 4 and it is given that the sum of n over all the test case that does not exist 2 into 10 to the power 5 this is the first case which is 1 minus 3 0 to minus 1 let's draw the array n equals to 1 minus 3 0 2 minus 1 yeah our approach will be first we will count number of zeros and number of negative integers yeah i am denoting number of zeros by noj and this is the only zero this is the index number of zeros is 1 and the number of negative is uh, 1 and 2 2 and we will just find the number of positive integer so number of positive integer is NOP is basically n minus number of zeros plus number of negative integers which is equal to 5 minus 1 plus 2 which is 2 so to solve this question we will find the sum of n number of positive integer minus 1 2 1 which is 2 minus 1 which is 1 to 1 the sum is 1 and we will find the we will check if number of negative integer is greater than 1 then we will do same thing with this if number of negative integer is greater than 1 we will calculate sum of number of negative integer minus 1 2 1 and in the above problem the number of negative integer is 2 this is the number of negative integer so we will find the sum 1 which 1 and finally we will add this sum and this sum then our final answer will become 2 we will do same thing with all the cases let's check the second problem second one if all the elements are negative numbers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 in this problem n is equals to 4 and after finding we will find that number of negative integer is 4 then what we will do we will calculate the sum from n o n minus 1 which is we will calculate 3 plus 2 plus 1 which is 6 this is our answer and we have to find the number of pairs whose product is greater than 0 so if we find the number of pairs this is the first pair whose product is 2 the second pair this then the third here 3 pairs which means yeah 3 pairs and the second this and this 2 and at last this one which is 1 this is our final answer let's see the code of this problem yeah the main function i am inputting test case here and inputting n which is the size of the array and creating array of size n and inputting the all elements in n and initializing count here it is not necessary yeah yeah and creating two variable n o zero n o z which means a number of zeros and number of negative with zero and counting basically this is the 
I am here counting the number of zeros and number of negatives in the in this array. Yeah. And also creating two variables answer one and answer two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my sum function, which is finding sum of n to one. Yeah, I am sending n minus number of zeros plus number of negative plus one to the sum as parameter and this is storing in sum answer one if number of negative is greater than zero I am calculating sum of number of negative minus one to one this function is calculating this sum and finally outputting the answer one plus answer two hope you guys enjoy this video if you like this content please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you want you can definitely share